A forensic scientist uses principles of chemistry, biology, and math through a variety of techniques to analyze physical evidence associated with crimes. Duties vary depending on the material to be analyzed and may include the analysis and identification of blood, hair, fibers, chemicals, bullets, and fingerprints. Often involves laboratory analysis using scientific methods. Requirements for the job, a bachelor's degree in chemistry, biology, or forensic science. Some forensic scientists are even trained as police officers. Extensive on-the-job training is also necessary. A forensic scientist can be a biologist, a toxicologist, a chemist, or a pathologist. Each plays an important role and is responsible for the analysis of different types of evidence. The salary of a forensic scientist can vary from as low as $28,000 per year for a scientist with a four-year college degree up to as much as $500,000 per year for a scientist that is a licensed medical doctor. A typical workday includes visiting crime scenes, collecting and preserving evidence, photographing or reconstructing crime scenes, examining and analyzing evidence, meeting with other experts to discuss and interpret evidence, writing and presenting reports and summaries of findings, and testifying as an expert witness in trials or hearings. Luminol is often used in forensics. Investigators spray luminol solution over an area of interest. The presence of blood will cause a chemical reaction between luminol and the iron in the blood that causes the blood to glow a light blue lasting for about 30 seconds. The grease test is a chemical analysis test that detects organic nitrite compounds typically found in gunpowder by reacting with sulfonylic acid to produce a pink color. If it turns pink, then gunpowder was present. Gas chromatography is used to detect the presence of an accelerant such as gas, kerosene, or turpentine in fire debris by detecting the distinct chemical fingerprint of the present hydrocarbons. This way, experts can confirm or rule out the possibility of arson. The work of a forensic scientist is not routine or glamorous. It often involves gruesome crime scenes, horrific injuries, and dead bodies. But it's important work that's necessary to analyze trace evidence to solve crimes and put criminals behind bars just probably can't believe himself that he didn't get away with it. A jury convicted the defendant in mid-November. Carlos Kennedy was convicted in May of the 2000... ...guilty to 937 counts.